Well, hi folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. We got a beautiful spring day here in Port Angeles, Washington. We got grass being cut behind us. We got trucks hauling up and down, so there may be some background noise. We apologize for that, but spring cleaning. And guess what this is? Anybody? 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 Bueller? Bueller? This is a tank out of an Atwood water heater. Okay, so we're doing some spring cleaning and we're, we're going to be scrapping this. And I thought to myself, and I was talking to my son, who's a camera guy behind us there. There he is. Hey, Dakota. Um, hey, let's, let's cut it open and see what's inside. Now, when we started our business down in Texas, um, hey, Tom. <laughs> uh, Tom came up from Houston. He's got an RV service, uh, mobile RV service down there in uh, Houston, uh, North American RV Services. Yay. A little shout out for them guys down in Houston. Uh, but Tom came up to Wichita Falls where we were living, and we had air conditioners and, and water heaters and toilets and all kinds of stuff. And we were just cutting those things open left and right. And I wish that we would have had our YouTube video back then. We were slicing open the compressor out of our air conditioner and all that kind of stuff. We even started slicing open some of these things. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about this uh, tank here. Now, what is it? A, it's an Atwood, which is now a Dometic, right? So if you go look, if you have a Atwood water heater and you need a part for that Atwood water heater, you're gonna have a hard time finding it. What you're gonna find instead is a Dometic water heater. So all your Atwood part numbers are switched over to Dometic part numbers. So that's your first takeaway from the video. If you have an Atwood water heater, it's now a Dometic water heater. Got it? Now, what you see on the front is the, uh, where, the, where the gas goes in, where the exhaust comes out. Here's your pop-off valve, and down here is your drain valve, okay? Now, you'll see some little marks right here. This is where your thermostats go. Uh, um, temperature one is a regular thermostat um, temperature there I believe is about 140 is your average turn off there and the other one is about 180 degrees the 180 degree one on this side is going to be the one that turns your gas valve off gas valve sitting over on this side um, now one thing I wanted to say is I've got a video on back flushing a water heater. I've got two of them actually. I want you to go watch those because there are some folks out there that say all you have to do is just take out the drain out of your water heater and um, just run water through it and it'll back flush your water heater. And I will tell you that that is not a correct statement. And we can look here, there's this much more space. So when we cut this tank open, I don't know what we're gonna find inside. It's gonna be very exciting, but we might find a lot of sediment. I don't know the history of this other than I replaced the tank. We took all the parts off of this one and put them on the new tank. I don't know that I would recommend that. I think what I would do if I were you, if you had to replace this, I would just buy a whole new water heater instead of moving all the parts back and forth. It was a bit of a pain, but that's the way they wanted to do it. So that's what we did. But look at this, there's several inches here between the drain and the bottom of the tank. So you do need to get one of those tools that gets in there and sprays and breaks away all that crap out of the bottom of your water tank, okay? Um, now, it sits in there about like that. Over in this area here, you would have your control module and it has all the wires. Like I said, I've got another video that goes into that. Um, so this is your gas, this is your, uh, your gas goes in and there's a tube that's gonna go through. We're gonna take this apart and see that. Now on the back side, on an Atwood now, Suburbans are different. On the Suburbans, your electric heating element is in the front. On an Atwood, we're gonna turn this dude around, okay? Um, this is where your cold water goes in, this is where the hot water comes out on the back of your water heater. And then here is the electric element. Uh, on your Atwoods, you're gonna have a module right here on the back that's gonna have a relay, the yellow wire from your control up here in the front. The, um, the yellow wire is gonna come back here and control a relay that's in this module back here. And so you're gonna have 120 coming and it's gonna sit on one side of that relay and the 12 volt control module is gonna energize that yellow wire and that yellow wire is gonna energize a 12 volt relay and then when that relay gets made, closes, that 12 volts is gonna pass through energizing the heating element, okay? So that's a heating element. We're gonna leave the heating element intact and I'm gonna basically suit up with my visor and my saw. We're gonna cut the sucker in half. So we're gonna do that next. You don't have to watch me do that, but the next time you see this, this dude's gonna be cut in half and we're gonna show you on the inside. Stuff, look, look at all this stuff floating in the bottom down here. Um, let me grab this guy. So this was down on the bottom. You could see that, let's see, I'm upside down. So if this is the heating element, that's the bottom. So this is where the cold comes in, because this is the heating element and this is where the hot goes out. So they're drawing the hot off the top of the tank here. So this little jewel right here, 
has this fancy little curve to him, okay? And it uh, looks like he was broken off right there. Uh, I'm trying to get the lighting. So it looks like he was broken off. Okay. And um, that's where the cold would have been attached. But you got all this, this stuff that's just in here. Now we replaced this tank because it was leaking. Okay. And uh, this tube here, this is your heat from your gas coming around through here. And um, so I guess, uh, yeah, this would be your low point. Oops, I'm blocking the view. This is your low point drain. So when this water heater is, when this water heater is, look how much water you have left. I'm holding it up, but uh, you got a lot of water and you can see down on the bottom there, how much of this sediment was, was sitting in there. So moral of your story. Anyway, there's a, there's a breakdown. I got a lot of this kind of stuff in my shop. I call it my rainy day list. Uh, I might start doing more of this. I've got some uh, uh, LP tank we could cut up. I've got some LP regulars we can cut up, uh, inverters, all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, uh, that's what's inside of your Dometic water heater. Well, there you go, folks. That's what's inside of your water heater. If this was helpful, give us a thumb up. Just click that little thumb up button if you like this type of stuff. You subscribe subscribe to our videos my rv works on the youtube channel uh, we ask folks hey if this is helpful for you head over to our patreon channel and support us five bucks a month it's really helping us we're building a team behind me that's that's doing a lot more you're going to see a lot more videos from us uh, i like to compensate those guys and because uh, i still make my living working out in the field working on rvs and i decide to bring the camera along um, and yeah it takes time and effort to do that so um, subscribe share thumb it up thanks for watching so until the next video this is darren signing off